good morning all so it is Saturday morning about 10 55 a.m. and it is January 5th <laughs> and we are going to attempt this blog this uh, vlog thing um, I don't do vlogs <laughs> for three reasons um, Ooh, look y'all I've got my shirt on I love this shirt nap queen I got it from my brother for a Christmas present oh and let's see you see my sliders where are they at yay love my sliders <laughs> um but yeah, I typically do not do um, vlogs for three reasons. Y'all, I'm just turning this all over the place. Uh, one, they're more work. Two, more editing. And three, I just like to be in the moment when I'm doing things versus having to remember to get my phone out, to take, a, uh, to take video footage. Um, yeah, I just... It's not my thing, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out for you guys. If you actually end up enjoying this, please let me know. Um, and the way you can let me know is by thumbing up this video or leaving a comment below and or leaving a comment below. So I need to eat breakfast. <laughs> Hubby's out. He went to a Bible study uh, lecture this morning and it's about three hours long. It's not through our church, it's through another organization. Um, and I just had a lazy, lazy day or morning. So I need to run some errands, but mm, we'll see, we'll see. I need to go by Walmart. First, I feel like a selfie stick would make this process so much easier and I really don't have one. So <laughs> I'm gonna Walmart and see if I can find something. And then your girl needs to get these eyebrows done. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, anytime I get my hair tightened, um, it's just a noticeable difference. And it's very obvious that my eyebrows need to be done. Before, it's not that big of a deal. My eyebrows don't even show out like that. But for me personally, I feel like it, it's very obvious when I get a retightening. And this time, by the way, I did my own retightening. So, yeah. All right, uh, for breakfast, I think I'm gonna eat a banana and uh, some oatmeal. So, yeah. Who all uses butter dishes? <laughs> and that's a weird question, but I use a butter dish. And so anyways, um, how many of you have used a butter dish before? Like this. Do you all know what butter dishes are? I am not trying to challenge your intelligence at all, but I was always raised using a butter dish. And when I got married, hubby was like, what is that? And I was like, it's a butter dish. So your butter can stay out and stay, you know, soft. So it's not super hard. Um, he was just like, oh my gosh. It was like a eureka moment for him. He was just like, this is genius. We have always had issues with this growing up. The butter was always so hard and stiff, but I was just like, well, would you look at that? <laughs> it's just so funny, the things you bring into a marriage, like things that I know about, whether it's through my own family or just being out on my own, and then same for him, his family, or being out on his own. So you bring all that to the marriage, and then we both get a lot of, um, knowledge from it and just learning new things so that's always super cool but if you're wondering what I'm doing I am just making oatmeal I thought I was filming before but I wasn't and so that meant I was just really talking to myself sad day y'all sad day <laughs> but yeah I use we use almond milk in this family <laughs> this household we do not use any other milk I got off a regular milk Ooh, I'd say probably 2013. I'm not really a big milk person anyways, so it wasn't like it was 
do or die, but like with my cereal and stuff like that, like that's when it's like I want to make, I, I, I need milk for that. <laughs> so I started with soy milk and then I later switched to almond milk. So I love making oatmeal in the morning. It's so simple. By the way, that's another thing he brought to me. I only made like individual sizes, like personal size oatmeal when it was instant oatmeal. And I personally am not a fan of instant oatmeal. Those packets, I just, I'm just not a fan. So <laughs> I would get, you know, the oats and I would always make it over the stove, but I would always make it in a big helping size and then I would eat it throughout the week but I didn't like it as much that way because it wasn't as fresh as day one you know if you know that struggle because anytime you put oatmeal in the when you soup it up and you put it just right with that butter that sugar that cinnamon yes you know it's just it's so good but when you put it in the refrigerator it clumps up and it's just like ooh. so you have to like put milk in it again to kind of soften it up and you know uh, get it right again and microwave it so when I met like when me and Tim got married he was like yeah you do personal with just you know the regular oats and that to me was mind-blowing guys so that's all he had to tell me I was sold I get my oats doctor it up put it in that microwave two minutes and I am good for breakfast <laughs> it was revolutionary so anyways um I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I guess I'll see you when I see ya. All right, bye y'all. Hey guys, it is, I don't even know what time it is, 2.11. <laughs> I have not moved from this couch since I finished breakfast. Um, I found a show on Netflix. <sighs> I don't know, I'm just one of those. It's really good y'all, but it's been here for I guess a while, but my siblings have been on it, they've watched it, and I just hadn't watched it yet. But each episode is an hour and a half long. I think it's only 16 episodes on Netflix. But it's that Sherlock um, show, The it's British. It's so good. You know the guy alpha um, uh, who played Doctor Strange in the Avengers Marvel? Yeah, he's Sherlock. It's so good. Anyways, I'm kind of hooked. So. Um, that and some mini Snickers. If you know how to come to my heart, mini Snickers. Um, hubby's back. He brought me some Greek food home. That was good for lunch. Um, I ate a euro. It was really good. Actually, yeah, I ate a euro, but I didn't have it with lamb meat. It was with chicken. I typically do lamb, um, but it was with chicken and had all the toppings on it, it was so good. <laughs> and some hummus on pita bread. So <clears throat> that was really good. We are planning on doing those errands together because your girl didn't go out at all. <laughs> I didn't do any of the errands. So he has to stop by Lowe's. I still need to go to Walmart. I still wanna get my eyebrows done. And then we may look for a couch. Hey, baby, hey. you want to make an appearance? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. So, it's been a lazy Saturday, just at least for me anyways. For some but of us. Yeah, for some of us, for me. Um, we love Saturdays like this where we can just kind of chill in the house for a bit. Don't have to rush off to anywhere. Um, don't have to rush off for errands. You know, a lot of rushing off. Huh? I said we do a lot we, of we typically off. do a lot of rushing off and a lot of stuff planned. So on Saturdays when we can just kind of lay low, it's really nice. It's refreshing. So anyways, I guess I'll take you alone on the ride for our errands. Um, we also have a birthday that we're going to tonight. One of our really good friends, pretty much like a brother to us. Um, he is the one who's getting married to my best friend. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're doing an escape room tonight and possibly getting some dinner. So yeah, I guess I'll take you on a ride. Definitely can't show y'all inside of an escape room. They are, they have a, you know, a policy against video in there, but keep you guys updated. Okay. So we're in a car. It's what? 
346. 346. <laughs> Alright, it's a shaky. Um, that's why I'm going to Walmart, babe. I need to get a, um, what's it called that holds the phone? Selfie stick. So, um, he thought I was just going to Walmart and nowhere else. Whoa, hold right? on. Let's, let's start from the top. I need to run an errand, and I asked her if she wanted to come with me, and she said, yes, I do. I just need to stop by Walmart. So then, <laughs> find out she didn't even, the thing that she mentioned to stop by Walmart isn't even the thing she mentioned. She said she needed to get her eyebrows. But I never, to me, I always stated that <laughs> as, no, but that's they were two stated. different things. It's a stop to get my eyebrows done, and a stop at Walmart. Whatever. So... That sun is bright. It feels so good here, y'all. I don't know where y'all are at, but in North Carolina, where we're at, it's beautiful. It's like pretty fall weather. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like winter weather, and I am all about that. I don't like cold weather. But, anywho, um, oh, babe. So, we could either go by the, the, um, what am I trying to say? The, eyebrow place is right over there where you would turn to go to your family's church. Alright. And it's in that area where you said that pizza place was at? Alright. Directly on your left? Yep, you know, yep. Does that make sense? Bella, Bella. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Sweet. So, I won't bring you guys in there with me. It's just a simple small um, Asian nail store and they kind of put me in a corner and do my eyebrows. So, no need to bring the camera in there, but I can bring you alone in Walmart. <laughs> so, all right. Look what we found at Walmart. You're supposed to be helping me find. I'm helping. Mm-mm. Shane. $2.99. He was supposed to be helping me find my um selfie stick, but instead he gets distracted. Am I going front? This is pretty cool, but still. Thumbs up if you know about Street Fighter. <laughs> you grew up playing it. <laughs> so as I was looking, hubby left the video game yep. and actually found them. They so me the closer. he, she he me the I do call him the closer. He uh, saved the day. So I'm Again. It's either the 988 or I don't see the difference babe what's the difference 480 488 I'm trying to get the cheapest one what's, oh this extends 28 inches this is 30 inches that's two inch difference that's not enough wireless selfie stick I have I don't need um that's I have you've a, gotta you've got to connect your phone to it no, I'm cool with getting this one because guess what? I have that little um, button clicker that I can that's already connected to my phone. Okay. So, yeah, let's do the 488. Let's do that mug. Perfect. It's going down, y'all. Church. 
Um, last night was a lot of fun. We did do the escape room. We made it out with how many minutes left, babe? We were clutch. We had about 15 minutes left, but we didn't use any clues, and we solved it by bypassing two riddles. Yeah, so the guy was like, how did y'all make it out? <laughs> we are like, well, I know we didn't open all the locks, but we made it out. He kept saying, he's like, man, that was really exciting. You guys were really excited. Because they were watch watching us the whole time. There's a video, or there's a camera inside. So, um, it was a lot of fun. We had a full crew. It was 11 of us, right? 11 of us, yeah. 11 of us. It was a bigger escape room. Typically, you know, when they're smaller, I don't like big groups like that. Because then it's like, what can you really do? But this was definitely a bigger room. Multiple trap doors. Yeah, it was like upstairs, actually. Upstairs, downstairs. It was actually in a tower like it was an old school tower um water tower water tower so it was just so cool it really gave that medieval uh type of vibe so it was really cool so for any of those escape room enthusiasts that are listening um a lot of them have just like locks and just different riddles and locks and different types of locks this one used locks but i'd say 60 percent was electronics like all switches you did this there's an led screen it was pretty cool it was it's probably one of the yeah, the, the, the riddles were very linear, so it was different, but the vibe and the atmosphere is definitely one of the top ones I've been to. So, so if you haven't gathered, that's really Tim's area of expertise. He loves that kind of stuff. Gidgets and, sorry, the gadgets. Gadgets. <laughs> gadgets. And, you know, the engineering in him just comes alive. So, uh, I like to go just to have fun, and I'm not really a I'm not really good at puzzles, but I just, I like to figure things out for fun. I think I like the time more than, and accomplishing something, um, more than actually being the one who's had her, her hand all over it. So, yeah. So after that, we went to go eat, um, saying happy birthday to the birthday boy. Uh, I should have already inserted a picture of, or if I have it, I'm going to insert it now of last night. So anyways, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And now we're going to church this morning. Tim, it has usher duty and then I have um, Sunday school duty. So I am teaching the four and five year olds. I absolutely adore them. So those are my little kiddos. So yeah, I dress in a t-shirt like this and jeans so typically me and him serve him second Sunday so he'll be looking snazzy and then I'll be looking like this <laughs> so, thanks babe so anyways oh I forgot to show you my eyebrows guys eyebrows done see see how it makes a difference at least it does to me um but yeah that's about it so on that note we're gonna get off because we're on the way to church but Catch you guys later. Oh, we, we good? All right, we're about to go buy a pull-out sofa. So we moved into the house six months ago, and we have not gotten this yet. So we've had two visitors. One visitor? Two visitors? I think two. One, my sister. Oh yeah, just one. And, uh, that stayed over the night. Yeah. So we put her on a blow-up mattress on the floor. So this will solve that problem. We got a lot of people we want to invite over, a lot of cousins, stuff like that. So. Yeah, so this is, if y'all, for reference, it is for the um, the guest room. So we want it to be kind of like a second den, but we also want it to be um, a guest room as well, two in one. And so we want a bed, we want the couch to fold out into a bed. So here we go. Okay, so this is one of the couches. It is leather. Yeah, 1200 It's nice. I don't know. It feels nice, but... It's, not, it's very it, springy. It feels like it needs to be broken in. Yeah. It doesn't just receive you. It kind of resists a little bit. Yeah. But it's still... It's pretty look at that. Look at that man. Don't he look good on that couch? <laughs> Alright, so this is couch number one. So couch number two... It does. I like how it goes in like that. It just feels comfortable right off the bat. 
All right, this is couch number two. It is $200 cheaper than the last couch. So, it's at 1000 I don't know. Let's see the last one. I'll let you hold that one. Can you do that one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't like this. <laughs> no, this is the same price as the last one. I don't, I like it. Okay, let me try it out. Go out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, I think we'd read probably that one, number one. Number one. Number the leather is number two, and this one definitely number three. So, um, we got the information for the couch, but you know we don't want to make a hasty decision. This nope. is the first furniture furniture store we've been to. We're making moves though. Yes, we're starting. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> so. Um, our goal is really to get all this stuff together and the rooms and all the rooms together in our house by the summertime so his cousins and stuff can come and visit and hang out with us. So we've got time. We're just happy we finally started the process. <laughs> all right. at the end of our day this vlog is coming to a close it's about 9 30 sunday night we had <laughs> um me and hubby are just on the couch chilling do y'all see him what up there he is <laughs> so um yeah we had church meetings back to back to back this was a long sunday this is not typical sunday um so we just got home maybe 20 minutes or so ago so yeah, um, just chilling on the couch, having some R and R before heading to bed to start a new week, work week. Um, just finished. I don't know if y'all have a Culver's, but we just we love going to Culver's for the mini concretes, and we always get Oreo. It's so good. So we thoroughly enjoy it, and it was the best way to end the weekend. So we are just chilling. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very random vlog. Um, again, if you would like to see more of this, you gotta let me know by like thumb, thumbing up this video or and or putting a comment below so I know that this is something that you let would like. <laughs> let me know. Um, but until next time, guys, I hope this video finds you blessed and catch you guys later. Bye. You wanna say bye? See you later, guys. I think you're on there. Yep. <laughs> Bye.